Okay, we've made it all the way to Law and Order SVU Season 6. <laughs> and um, I started Disc 1 today. I didn't think it would be this soon that I would get through Law and Order. But as a weekly thing, I made it one of my weekly things I haven't broken is Law and Order. And hopefully, I'll well, have all the series to finish. finish. It'll still take quite a few years, but still. Once a week, I can watch this. Then I'll, next one, I'll go to... Um, Criminal Intent, and then regular Law and Order. I finished Los Angeles and Trial by Jerry. Maybe when I'm done with the whole series, I'll revisit those again. Okay, here we go. Law and Order come. Now, since this is a bootleg version of it, it's impossible to get a real one on eBay. They don't. Really, they, I think like almost the entire website is full of them. Let's just read the first four episodes, and they're pretty long. Look at all the text. At least they do a better job than the actual one, if, they, if one exists. It's impossible to tell. Bright right, bur no, birthright. Six-year-old Patty Brent Branson, guest star Abigail Breslin, is almost abducted in Central Park while her father reads the paper. Benson is stable, investigate and find out that the men who attacked her are actually PIs who are hired by Michael Osborne, guest star Leah Thompson from Back to the Future, which is pretty cool to see her. She doesn't really do much. To kidnap Patty, claiming she is Patty's real mother. Emmy Warner guest star Tamara Tooney conducts a DNA test to determine the child's true biological mother. Meanwhile, Benson traces the source of the confusion of the child's origin back to the fertility doctor. Um, that, this is a little too much description now that I think about it. A lot of just too much. The next one was debt. After detectives Benson and Stable find two small Chinese children mysteriously abandoned by their missing mother, they soon discover that the mother is an illegal immigrant whose older daughter is being held against her will until the mother can pay off the smuggler's fees for bringing the family to America. Ugh, that really relates to what we're doing nowadays. The police use the missing woman's sister, Lee Mi, I hope I said the name right, guest star Ming Na from NBC's ER. That's a really good show, you should watch ER. I finished that a long time ago. Uh, where are we? Now I lost myself here. To penetrate the secret of society and find out what happened to her, but their plan backfires when Lee Mae is found severely beaten and bearing an anonymous message from the kidnappers. Now I'm going to lose all my voice out of this. Obscene was the third episode. I thought all these episodes were actually pretty good. I can't complain about most Law and Order episodes. They're all very good. Obscene. A well-known actress guest star Maggie Grace, another great actor, the best actor of the day, actually, that I watched. And she's not um, a... I don't particularly think she's a great, 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 huge actor, but, you know, she's in Taken and all that, and she's, people know who she is. A well-known actress, guest star, Mad Grace, who is the star of a controversial teen show, was raped in her trailer on, on, on the set. Benson and Finn investigate and find the actress is hated by many community members, such as Carolyn Spetzer, guest star, Dana Delaney, Delaney China Beach, because they feel she's a bad influence on young girls. The investigation reveals further clues would point to Carolyn's son, Danny, guest star Ricky Allman, who was arrested after being placed at the scene of the crime. Although it appears that he, he was acting out his mother's wishes, the boy also was influenced by the direction of a radio shock jock, guest star Louis Black, The Daily Show, with John Stewart. <laughs> you only... The last time, I don't really watch those shows. The last time I think I saw that on this um, guy from the, the John Stewart show was um, in a movie called Man of the Year with, um, what's it called? Uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams and them. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Scavenger is the next episode. That one was a good one too. Scavenger. Detectives Benson and Stevela discover an abandoned baby with a note indicating the mother's kidnapping. A tray of clues connects the mysterious kidnapping to a serial killer on the loose. As they uncover more murders, the detectives discover their perpetrator is a coffee catting, coffee catting the actions of a serial killer from the past. <sighs> That's what a lot of killers do because they just don't have any original thought, I guess. <laughs> it's really not funny. It's, it's actually it's embarrassing because, you know, after all these years, we still can't catch these people till it's too late. Um, let's just put it this way. Well, I wanted to say something from here. I did. I. All I wanted to say is, is that, um, I don't know what I wanted to say. I've been watching uh, Law and Order a long time, and I just gotta say, I haven't been really, um, 
disappointed in any of the episodes I've read. I mean, read, not read, watched or anything like that. And I think that's a very important point to it. Um, there's a lot of good guest stars in this show, like ER, Law and Order, CSI. have a ton of good guest stars to look at. You look at TV shows today, they don't have the kind of guest stars all around television that they did years ago. People actually wanted to go on another show and be part of it. It's not so much that way anymore. Maybe there's contract restrictions that prevent one people from another. So, um, try to see here if there's anything I left out. The first disc has 2 hours and 53 minutes. They don't usually show that on a real disc, so we know this is a fake already, but whatever. If I put this into my DVD player, it definitely would not read 5.1, probably. You couldn't get anything out of Law and Auto 5.1 anyways. Um, that's it. Alright, um, that's it. Bye-bye.